this video or there's instructions on our website or you can pick up paper instructions at the museum and supplies to make the craft. So pioneer children often made toys with materials that they had around the house or they could find outside. To make a clothespin doll, all you need is a clothespin and some scraps of fabric. Pioneer children probably would have sewn little clothes for their dolls, but today we're going to use glue. I'm going to use liquid glue and a paintbrush, but you can use um, apply liquid glue right on the doll or you could use a glue stick. I'm going to start by showing you how to make the doll wearing a pair of pants. So you'll start by putting on the shirt. Take your liquid glue, and I'm using a paintbrush here, and brush the paint onto what would be the torso of your doll. Push it all the way around. And then we're gonna wrap the shirt around. You might need a little more glue on the edge here where it overlaps. Next we'll add the pants for this doll. Now the pants are kind of the trickiest part. So there's two pant legs that look the same. So I'm going to put one pant leg up the slit of the clothespin so that it's in the middle like that. Then I'm going to turn it to one side and put glue on the side of the leg. Then turn over one side of the pant leg and stick it down. And I'm going to add more glue over top. And that way I can fold the other side over. And there I have one pant leg. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. It works best if you come up from the bottom instead of trying to just stick it through the middle. we can add different accessories to the doll. So for this one, I'm going to put on a belt in the middle of the shirt and the pants. For the belt, I like to put the glue right on the fabric. Next I'm going to add some hair. Now for the hair, sometimes it can be hard to get it to stay on, but the less hair, the better sometimes. So I like to put a little bit of glue right on the top and then kind of curl the little pinch of hair that I have into a little ball and try to get it to stay on. It also helps to have a hat that you can put over top. So this circle is going to be my hat. I'm going to put some glue right on the fabric. And then stick it over top of the hair. You 
might need to hold it for a second to get it to stay. So that's my one doll. The next one is wearing a dress. So just like the first, we'll start with a shirt, same way we did the first one. And then over top of the shirt, we have this dress shape. Now you can do the, you can leave the dress out so that it's, it's sticking out, it looks like it's fuller, or you can wrap it all the way around if you like, it's up to you. But I like to put some glue just right down the center and stick my dress to that. I'm gonna add an apron, that's this small triangle, and put the glue right on the fabric. And stick it right in the middle of the dress where you think the waist should be. And over top of that, I'm also gonna put a belt. If you're doing this at home, you can, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it, you can be creative. So with these long skinny belts, you can make it into a headband or a scarf if you wanted. There are no rules. And I have some darker hair for this one. And then this little triangle is going to be a little bandana just for the back of the hair. So I'm going to put some glue just on the long edge of the triangle and then wrap it around her face. So that the points go down to her neck kind of sticks out. She's kind of bald on the back of her head. Maybe I should add some more hair. Okay, so these are my two finished dolls, but as I said, if you're doing it at home, you have different fabric or paper or anything like that, you can also do it in a different way. It's all up to you. You can experiment just like the Pioneer children did. And if you want to draw on faces with markers or pencil crayons, you can also do that. <laughs>